Our top story this morning, the Biden administration is accusing China of extortion and threatening U.S. national security through massive hacking campaigns. The White House says the U.S. and its allies stand united against such threats. Kim Hyo-sun has our top story. Washington is publicly blaming China for, quote, malicious cyber attacks, including a massive attack on Microsoft Exchange's email server software earlier this year. So I would note that we are actually elevating and taking uh, steps to not only speak out publicly, uh, but certainly uh, uh, take action as it relates to problematic cyber activities from China in a different way. The White House also explained Monday that its allies and partners, including the European Union, the UK, Australia, as well as NATO, have joined Washington in criticizing Beijing, adding this is the first such condemnation by NATO. While the announcement was not accompanied by sanctions, it can be interpreted as part of President Biden's continued pressure campaign against China over numerous issues, including human rights abuses. Asked if the U.S. is doing enough to prevent China-related cyber attacks, President Biden said investigations are still ongoing. On the same day, the U.S. Justice Department charged four Chinese nationals who prosecutors say have been involved in a hacking campaign targeting dozens of computer systems at companies, universities and government entities between 2011 and 2018. There have been many reports about cybercrime recently, but this prosecution is unique. This case is about a cyber hacking and economic espionage campaign led by the government of China. The indictment alleges that three of the four defendants were intelligence officers with China's Ministry of State Security, or MSS. They implemented the alleged cyber attacks through front companies in order to conceal the government's role in the illicit scheme. The EU and Britain also accused Beijing of malicious behavior, adding that cyber hacks that targeted government institutions and key industries within the bloc could be linked to shadowy Chinese groups. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News.